Uh, my name is Marcus Stubblefield. I work for the King County Executive Office in the criminal justice section. And the project that I run is called Systems Integration. And it has been formally moved to uh, Uniting for Youth, a partnership of youth serving systems in King County. Uh, and what my work entails is making sure that juvenile justice system, education system, child welfare system, and behavioral health system work better together to serve young people and their families in a holistic approach. Um, our background is to uh, make sure that we put the onus on the system and not push the blame on young people and their families for the conditions that we do. And our, uh, the process that we're working through is we're trying to untangle um, the system dumping that happens unintentionally by systems when they dump one young person into the next system and we try to have a systemic response to make sure that we're lifting them up to make sure that they really have an opportunity to grow and thrive um, in their in their communities and in their homes and in their schools and wherever they reside or whatever services they, they're using. So Marcus, can I just ask you, when you talk about system dumping, mm -hmm. What do you see? What do, what would we see if someone if the system was dumping someone? Well, everybody's heard of the proverbial school to prison pipeline, right? So a kid, a young not kid, a young person uh, has having some significant challenges in school, which is one of their best protective factors. Yeah. And then we remove that by kicking them out of school. When you're out of school, when all of your friends are in school, then that gives you time outside of a protective environment where you're learning other things. And so we consider consider that. Once you're suspended or expelled from school, that's a direct trajectory because you have more time on your hands to then go and do some acts of, that may land you into the justice system, right? And so sometimes you get in a fight at school and oftentimes what I think is we system dump is we uh, criminalize adolescent behavior. Young people are gonna have conflict. We need to teach them how to manage conflict, not punish them. And, I'm, and, I'm in my, and what I always talk to people about, I said, I've never seen a punishment change a behavior. Right. I've seen skills and, and talents change behaviors, but I've never seen punishment change the behavior. So when I say unintentionally system dump is we have policies and practices that push kids out of certain systems, which is a direct pull mechanism, pulling mechanism into the other ones. And so somebody that has experienced severe trauma, abuse and neglect, and they're in the child welfare system and that that carry that that's a part of them and it, it manifests in different behaviors. So if I'm in a child welfare system and I'm going to school and my housing situation is unstable or displaced and I'm showing withdrawal or something like that from school or anger or something like that and I blow up out a teacher, now I'm suspended because you're, you're dealing with the symptom, not the root cause of why I'm, why I'm that, in that place in the first place. So there are several instances like that where I think we unintentionally system dump. And if we had a more systemic response, we would understand some of those things and be able to deal with that so that young person can thrive. And we're, we're not setting them up for failure, but we're setting them up for success.